Welcome back, everybody. Hi, everybody. Happy September. Happy, Happy fall. fall. We're back with a new season. With exciting stuff in store, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you want me to tell? We're just, we're well, like, don't worry. Lori's not here tonight, but she hasn't abandoned us. She just had nope. something to do tonight, so she's not She'll here. Be back. But yes. And Mari will be back in October. Yes. Yes. We'll both be back. Yes. And we are. We have an exciting new season. And we are shaking things up, guys. Let me tell you. We have we, red wine. We're, well, we, we always switched to red. No, no, we always have red wine. We do. Yeah. We, we have always white. do white. Remember oh. we talked about? We, oh, that was sugar. another show. Just yeah. kidding. We just we like wine no matter yeah. what color. Yeah. But we're really going to be yeah. everywhere, right? Yeah. On set, off set, in town, we're around town. A lot town. of fun things. A lot of fun changes. Yep. So we're excited about it. Yep. Lots of big events, actually. Yes. We're going to be, we're gonna be I don't very busy. How we're going to do all of this because yeah. we're in back to school craziness already. Very true. Back to school crazy cray. So we have high we have high school students, which is oh, and yeah, we're in I'm middle tracking. school. I'm not there yet. Yeah, well, but you're middle, in middle school. school. Yeah, high school now. And my boy is eighth grade middle school. Yes. So he's like the big the big cheese at school, and he's loving that. He is. Great. Mm -hmm. And okay. we're we're doing okay. We're surviving high school. Carol yep. and I are freshmen, freshmen. again. And we're swim moms together. And we're swim moms, yep. We're and what about moms. summer? What did you guys think of your summer? Did you have a good summer? Oh, it was so we nice. We were with you a lot. <laughs> yeah, I saw you a lot. <laughs> true. True. Yes, no, we had a great summer. I feel like you the went end away of summer goes I went away, away a lot. Yep. You did a little weekend we trip stage, I feel like. We did. Well, I started off my summer with, in the hospital, so that was like such a fun weekend trip. I know, and then the you were hospital. here taping with us, like, and you just got stitched up. Yes. That was I lost an appendix, <laughs> and I was hoping it was more weight would come off of me when I lost it. And she's like holding things, remember? We're like, yeah, the appendix was like eight pounds, and I didn't Oh, good summer. Yeah. But Such happy, good happy summer. to go into I love that we're in apple mode, we're in red wine mode, we're in pumpkin picking. Yep. I um, love the fall. I love too. the pumpkin picking yes. and the hay rides. Like quintessential New England. All of that. Yes. yes. The Absolutely. warm days, the cool nights, I love all of that. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's fun. It and you know fun. what? We have so many great guests coming on and talking about back to school craziness. We have um, a wonderful woman who I, my family have known for, for a very long time. She used to watch my girls. Yep. Talking about school and kids and stress and anxiety, which we have none of no. in my house. No, she has her own practice too, yes. right here in town, Yes, right? she does. Yeah. Yep, we're excited to have Katie on. Yeah, so some great events coming up. So many events. We Lots should, yeah, we'll have to share. So on October 5th, our very own Camille Ferreira will be Good modeling. To be a model. In the Susan Cohen, what are they called? The I'll pink be party? The, the old lady category, but I, nonetheless, I'll be modeling. <laughs> it's the Komen pink Susan party. Susan G. Komen, it's the pink party that yep. happens every year. They shut down Blueback Square. Right, right. It What's is right amazing. I've gone there at pre Survivor and post Survivor, and it's just the experience for everybody is wonderful. I mean, they have swag bags, they have vendors, they have pink carpet throughout the entire so Blueback Square. People, we're so going to come and like, people can come. Right. You don't have to be a breast cancer nope. survivor. Absolutely not. No, 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 no. They have, um, you know, vendors, businesses come, local businesses. It is just something like you've never seen. I'm going to bring the girls. Like kids come too. Yeah, there's I'm a bring band. Them. Your girls are And there's going. a fashion show. And I'm in the fashion yes, show. Yes, that's what so we're going to So i got to walk. Can't I, walk hopefully there. it'll fall. You, you won't. Do you know what you're wearing? Who's like... No. So we're supposed to meet a few days ahead. And I like BK and Company, of course. They're amazing. Right. right here in town. They do a lot of it. Okay. Um, hair and makeup. And they're, they'll kind of size oh, me up yeah. and say, you're going to wear this and that. You know? nice. And then you can walk out with, I think, firefighters. I remember Ronnie Newton. Yep. She's doing it again. She is. Yep. And couple other people. Yeah, so it should be, be fun. fun. Right, Hopefully well, we'll I'll put fall. It on our, we'll put it and on it's our page. Thursday, Don't make October me laugh, because I got to make that uh. face. You know when you walk on the catwalk, you're supposed to be like, <laughs> yeah. I can't be like, <gasps> so we can't be like yelling at you. No, well, you can, but I'm just going to have to tune you out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we'll go I might go that. like this. I might have a serious model face. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do a little wink. Do the wink for us. Yeah. Yeah, that's Perfect. right. And then we have um, our mom sauce it up event. Yep, so fun. So we're sauce it up. We've been putting that yeah, together. That's exciting. Big it event is. at. Can we say where it is? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Zohara, because Dorian rocks. October twelfth. Mark your calendars, moms. Yep. Six to eight p.m. Saucing it up. Saucing, Saucing it up. It up. We're gonna have yep. all sorts of gelato tasting, wine. We're gonna have a drink special of the night. Lori's brother does all the gelato for Sahara, so right. he's doing a gelato. I know that sounds yeah. fun, but I mean like crazy, Three but gelato, right? tasting. Like gelato tasting. Right. Who doesn't want to come out for gelato tasting yes. with wine? Right. Oh, wine oh and wait. Gelato. And not only that, I have a mom of twins that are young. Oh, she's going to come. She oh, is a tarot card this. reader. Awesome. Yep, we're excited and to have her. So, I'm 90% um, sure she's going to make it once okay. those babies are 
given to dad when he gets home. Yeah. Okay. And she is she did my cards and let me tell you, I was blown away. She's and gonna she'll read be there. For us. She's gonna read for all the ladies that come out okay. and join our event. So it's open to, to our viewers, yep. to the public. We're gonna um, put it on our Facebook page, um, how people can register. Because right. I think it's good if we have a number ahead of time so that we can reserve a particular yes. and we're gonna have nibbles, areas. they're gonna, you know, Zahara. do some hummus and And Zahara and is going to do some of the proceeds, right? They're gonna they do are gonna proceeds. do we are gonna do a certain percent, um, Zahara and ourselves towards um, the, the Red Cross for yeah. the Hurricane, hurricane Relief. Relief. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yes. I love that. So I, I love that we're too. pairing yeah. with Zahara. I was I watching that on it. TV and it's so sad. <gasps> so sad. Yeah, no. So it's great and that we're going to be Rico, it's like, putting a little bit of... And nobody can, they can't reach people because yeah. all the phones Things are going to be Right, so we have that event. Yep. Hopefully we'll we'll do some streaming there so we'll get some of our you know, viewers live. Yes, you know. We have a great friend, That'll Janice, great. who's helping us do all of our marketing, who's standing behind the camera yes. right now. I don't yep. even want to know. Is, are we doing. supposed to reveal her company or not yet? I think we can reveal the company. Can we reveal your company? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Company. All right. So Jabberhead Media. We. I don't know how we. Jabberhead. Jabberhead. Just Jabberhead. Yeah. Jabberhead. I don't know how we scored her, but we did. And Sarah, Sarah gave like us it. her name. Amazing. She's doing all yep. of our marketing, digital marketing. She's a mom. We just adore Janice. So. Just keep watching us. Big Janice things ahead. Doing great things. Yes. And if you go to Jabberhead, you can find her on Facebook. She's just a great, very smart woman. Yes. yes. She also does matchmaking on the side, but that's another episode. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're excited. We have some great opportunities coming up. We'll talk about Halloween, I think, next next um, show. Next show, show Halloween. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. We should come totally like dressed up. I could just be a witch and just bring a broom and just be fine. Just Did you see broom. that? Somebody put that on the Friends and Neighbors of West Hartford page. Somebody left a broom. Like, First of all, that page is kind that of a little crazy is, out of hand. Well, I can tell you it I is. love that page. I know. It's, it's funny. very funny. But that's, you know, it's quirky. Mm -hmm. It is. It's different. Mm -hmm. But somebody put a picture of like a broomstick like in a parking spot and they were like, But oh, they did take our have... idea because we were going to do a show of. We still are. I think the dating we're still game? And, I mean, nobody knows that yet. We need to get They're some moms to come on and agree to do it. Because we have some bachelors that are willing to come on. We just need some moms. But last year, right, we're we not married. Have, we didn't have but Carol was, to be it. Carol well, nicks Carol, the idea. Yeah, now, so I'm a host here, so now oh, that's my spot. I'll let somebody else <laughs> yeah. do Shine. the bachelorette. Yeah. I sh I'll do it. Kimmy and I will do it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we don't have an open marriage. So. We may not like that. <laughs> no, that's okay. Yeah. Oh, we're getting the warning. We need to wrap up. Okay. So. We'll be back yep. with our fabulous guest and in a few minutes. Thank, Thank you. you. And we're back with a dear friend of mine, Katie Goodman, who is a licensed therapist here in West Hartford Center. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome Katie. Katie. Thank you for having me. Yes, yes. we're so, so excited. excited to have you. So Katie specializes in young adults, teenagers, children, kids of all ages, families, yep. and we thought it was a really relevant topic to have you come on our first show of the season, September, because it's crazy uh, back to school month. Yes. And Not just for us, but for the kids For everybody. Right. everybody. Crazy for them, crazy for us. I, every morning is crazy. I feel like we all need to be institutionalized. And it's just back to getting onto a schedule and just getting organized. Yes. Right. So Katie and her husband Douglas just bought a house. We call him Douglas, because that's <laughs> what my girls used to call him. Yeah. Douglas. Just bought a house in West Hartford. We're so excited with their most beautiful little girl, Rosie. Aww. Thank you. And so Congratulations. We're so Thank excited for, to have Katie in West Hartford. I know. You're going to be your neighbor. Your, therapist, <laughs> your, your office is in West Hartford Center. Yes, yes. So I've been in um, my private practice in West Hartford since May of this year. Um, I'm in the Armory Building, which is oh, sure. um, right yeah, on yeah. Farmington yeah. Avenue. Yep, right. right across from across, Butterfly. Across from right? Butterfly. So it's super oh, convenient. Oh, yes, we know that. Yeah, we know that I need to take a break and do some karaoke between yes. sessions. Yeah, you know, that's right that's where Go. You're yeah. just her. <laughs> yeah, so I love it. That's it's exciting. it's great. It's such a beautiful space and um, really relaxing environment that all my clients say, like, oh, wow, this is so nice. And now, was it nervous for you to jump into private practice on your own? Like, to just parts go of out it, and... Parts of it, for sure. I was definitely nervous. I mean, like, you're essentially becoming a small business owner. Right. So you all of a sudden have added responsibilities that, you know, of things that you kind of take for granted when you're salaried somewhere. Mm -hmm. So suddenly you have to figure out your own, like, health insurance and taxes and... Advertising, um, getting your... Oh, my gosh, yeah. Yes, marketing and all, and all of, of that. Everything so, that comes with um, being a 
yeah. an entrepreneur. Yeah, yeah. So, but can um, I just say this is like the perfect fit for you because you're so good. Thank you were so good with my girls. <laughs> Katie was our nanny. We used to call her my Katie, but now she's not my Katie. She's everybody's Katie. Yeah, she's our oh, Katie. Oh, always Katie. She's our Katie. Yeah. But do you? So why did you decide to go into like the children, youth? Yeah. That area. Well, I think it started really for me when I was a kid growing up. I mean. In middle school, um, you know, that's a really Ooh, tough middle school years. Such yep. such a hard time. The most um, tough for yep. me it was emotionally yep. and you know, socially and All academically. And um, and I was really fortunate to have a school counselor who um, had a really big impact on me and was really just supportive and wonderful and said things to me that I remember to this day and mm -hmm. and I just thought to myself, you know what, that is what I want to do. Like if I can have an impact like that on just one kid the way that she had on me then like this will this will all be worth it and I just love kids I love working with kids like I I think it's just like kind of in my DNA and mm -hmm. I just what ages do you work with so I work with age as young as like four or five uh -huh. I have worked with um, and up to like I see adult clients as well and adults, um, okay. but I definitely focus on kids and families um, so yeah kids elementary age right on up through like college and um, but I think you hit the nail on the head with middle school yes. because I think that is definitely at least from my experience with the two girls now I have Frankie's in middle school mm -hmm. The dynamics change, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, like it's puberty. You're dealing with so much, right. so much. There's everything changing. All the expectations for them. have changed. Yeah. The academic expectations have changed. Um, socially, the rules are all changing. Like your body is changing, which right. I'm sure you know. We get to <laughs> the middle school kids don't. are like, I don't want to hear that, mom. Right. But right. it's true. We all have kids that have either in middle school now or yep. been in middle right. school. So we, as parents, I feel like we're sort of like. W watching through this? it also well yeah and watching it living wanting to it. figure out how, how, how can help we help them and what's right. too much and help I feel like and I'm stressed just like kind of watching their every move like okay she's too stressed out is this too much homework is she putting too much on her plate what's yeah. happening at school and I try to talk to them like what did you do at school and oh it's fine so yeah. it's sort of like trying to pull yeah. stuff out of them at this yeah, time yeah see and that's where having a, a neutral third party uh, like a therapist mm -hmm. can really come in handy because um, a lot of times kids, um, you know, they, they're not going to tell mom, right, this, they don't you know, talk to mom and dad. yeah, they don't want to talk to mom and dad. Like, that's not cool. Um, but so you're like a safe zone and they get everything off their chest. totally a safe zone. And what I tell my clients, um, my kids that I work with is that what they say to me in the room stays confidential. So that means I don't turn around and go tell mom or dad um, the things that they say, right. um, you know, of course, if there's something that's concerning, then I would work with that child and encourage them to share it with their parent right. um, or help them share it with their parent. But a lot of times kids, um, you know, they don't want to talk to mom or dad, but they do want to talk and they need to talk. Mm -hmm. um, so I really like being that like safe place for them to come and share what's on their mind and have someone just tell them that's all normal and natural. Right. Yep. And yep. Katie, I have a question. How can you encourage your kids to really do well in school but not put all the parent pressure on them? Because yeah. I feel like a lot of times they're putting pressure on themselves right. too. already. Yeah, it's true. Um, yeah, you know, I, I'll say there's one strategy that I feel like is kind of a no-no and but that's just in my experience, um, you know, I don't think it's really a great idea to say to your kids, we expect all A's or we expect, you know, X GPA, um, at least not in the beginning. Right. Especially because that's a lot, right, for a child to have yeah, thinking in their head. And, the whole you time. know, and especially like thinking back to middle school, like this is when our kids are developing study skills and they're developing good habits. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's not. Um, it's not fair to put an expectation on them and, and talk about what like the outcome should be. I think we should be more focused on the process and the habits that they're building. So be more process focused rather than product right. focused. It's so hard though too, I find, just because of the change in the way they're teaching the kids too with like Common Core and it's so test driven, everything is very test driven. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, on track. yeah, so you do in one regard want to tell them, you know, try and the effort and the work that you put into it is what's important. But then on the other side, you have no, you know, getting this pressure this totally for different them message. at school. Yeah. And grades test, matter test, test. because you want them to be able to get into a good 
right. good, high, good high school and a good college, and right. you have to be doing extracurricular activities, and you have to do community service hours, I and there's know, a yeah. lot. It's I mean, I was going to ask you, going on what about sometimes. this? Like, how has this affected our kids? And I don't even just middle school. Like, there could be third graders and fourth graders and high schoolers. Like, this. I know. And I'm trying to monitor And it. you guys had a really great guest on, was it last season? Oh, he was season? wonderful. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Scott. The, yeah, Scott. Yeah, Scott was great. Security yeah, who was talking guy. about social media and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, he yeah. He was wonderful. I mean, it affects because the kids see, oh, so-and-so had this person over and I wasn't invited. Right. We never had that growing up. I mean, So that I, just adds added stress. And anxiety, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah, and a lot of parents have the question, well, how do I know if the anxiety that my child is going through is normal, normal and anxiety. is appropriate mm -hmm. for, you know, their situation or their mm -hmm. age? Or should I worry? Or right. should I worry? Right. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. So um, I'll give you a, an answer that's not really an answer that will probably be frustrating, <laughs> but you know your kids best. Mm -hmm. So you know when something is off. So, you know, and I always say that it, look for... Um, changes that that just seem off changes in um, eating habits eating a lot more eating a lot less changes in sleeping um, sleeping a lot more or a lot less um, teariness if that's not something that really is um, you know normal for them and um, if you're still in doubt, then come and have a consultation. I mean, just because you call me up and say, right. you know, can I come in for a session to talk to you, uh, talk about my daughter and get your thoughts, that doesn't mean that you're on the hook for anything mm. more than that. If you're not sure, then come and talk to a professional and let's work it out together. I That's feel right. like there's so much drama. I mean, we all have girls. Carol has a boy, a son also. Lori has a daughter who's in middle yeah, school, Yeah, Carol too. gets the balance. I we do have I no balance. balance. I feel <laughs> like some of it is like boy. drama, like, oh my god, here yeah. we go again, and we're crying. And, and they're trying tearing. to, you don't want to get yeah. too involved in it either. We don't want to be the parents. helicopter. You really but, shouldn't. But I yeah. want to, so I'm trying not to. I'm trying to find the balance of, like Cammy said, Yeah. what's too involved, and what's right. making sure that they're being safe, and they're right. being, right. and they understand right. we're there for them. Yes. I, and I, a tip that I use sometimes is if I don't want to ask a child or a teen directly, like, what are you getting into? Like, you know, because um, they may not feel comfortable just coming out and saying, well, I'm being pressured to, you know, do X, Y, Z. Right. Um, I ask, like, what are your friends up to? Like, I'll oh. say, like, you know, uh, like I said, um, recently to a client like so are kids your age starting to date or is that not really something that's happening yet and she said oh well somebody I know is and I was like oh so that's like you know probably the first among your group of friends so it's a good way to find out if not specifically what that child is into, at least what, what they're around. being influenced right. by. Right. Right. So that gives you a good idea. Because they kind of are who they hang with, as that old saying yeah. goes, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. A little bit. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Yeah. So. And I feel like, and I don't, I know this sounds so old fashioned, but I feel like kids are growing up so fast. Like, I feel like everything that I'm hearing is like, oh my God, I didn't do that until I was like in high school or college. I didn't know about those things. Again, we didn't even know about it. Yeah, yeah exactly. The things the kids have now. Right. It's like, I didn't know about that until I, I didn't know it was happening. <laughs> yeah, right, I didn't right. either, but they know so much now. Yeah, any question they have, they just boop, 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 yeah. Google it. And yep. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and the whole um, social media and thing, you know, I know you saw what Scott said about being on top of it. That's hard to do. But it is hard. I know. I think you have to really sit down and kind of make a plan and decide, like, what are the expectations that I'm going to set for my kids and what are the boundaries and what are the rules and be super clear. So, for example, instead of just saying to them, I'm going to give you a phone, but just so you know, I want to know your password and I'm going to check it every once in a while. Well, then every time, anytime you say to them, like, okay, give me your phone, it's time for me to check it, you know they're going to roll their eyes. But if you say to them, I'm going to check it twice a month, you know, then they have a clear idea of what to expect and you'll get less of the eye rolling. Um, so be super clear up front about what the expectations are in the beginning. Or I want to know, you know, what, you know, what social media platforms you're on and I want you to friend me on all of them. Right. Um, and I'm going to, you know, monitor what you post or like I know Adria, your daughter has uh, a, a fashion blog. Yep. blog. But it's yep. off of my blog and, I, you know, and I, she wanted Instagram because she wanted to have a blog, right. but it's on my phone. She also has a phone now because she's in middle school, but I have it. Like, it's on my phone also. Yeah. So I don't even ask her. Actually, Gabrielle, it's on, you know, I have everything on my phone, so I just go in whenever I want just to see. And it's, you know, it's yeah. not even really what they're posting. It's to see what their friends are yeah. mm -hmm. up to because, honestly, we did this little undercover. We did. We, we were like little spies one night, and we were all together, and 
just because it <laughs> shocked us. It shocked us. We should not have done our, that, but yeah. we did. But our peers. Now your kids are going to know that now. They know. Oh, I told them. We told them. We told them. We're very, I mean, I'm like a, I'm very conservative. We're all on you. You know. Gabrielle goes me all the time. I'm the only one that, you know, whatever. No, 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 no. So how do, we just want to make sure that our kids are being safe and that, you know, going into high school or middle school, the homework is so intense. It is. And they're doing extracurricular activities. They're doing a sport. They're doing cheer. They're doing swimming. They're doing baseball. And then they have grades. And then they're doing this. And I'm like, and I'm yelling. And yeah. Right. Yeah. they're up till 11 o'clock. And I'm like, yeah. it's a Tuesday. What is happening? I, and child anxiety is on the rise. They're seeing it more is and it? more and at a younger age. Yeah. Is so. that because Why, yeah. we, parents are doing are that? Or is it? Why is that? Yeah. It's probably the mother's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly what David wants to hear. <laughs> That's exactly. Well, so you know what, Kate? My, my younger daughter, who's ten, literally will say the word anxiety, and I don't know mm -hmm. where it came from, but she'll say, "Mom, I like recently she said, Mom, we need to have, um, get my anxiety machine." I'm like, "What's the anxiety machine? What is an anxiety?" It's machine? the thing that you put the oils and you plug it in, uh, yeah. oh, like an oh, like, like an infusion. Yes, and it calms her down. And so she probably saw it on YouTube. I don't know, but now we, we have the anxiety the machine. Yes. Lori, I love that. It was Lori. <laughs> It's a call to her anxiety right. machine. You know oh. what? My daughter at two years old can tell me how she's feeling in certain situations. This is like so therapist mom of me, but she'll say like, I'm shy or I'm sad or like I'm mad. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, my daughter. Because that's what we want, right? <laughs> that's what like, we want. Yeah, so, so for your daughter to say, I'm feeling anxious, right. I need to utilize this coping skill. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good that's thing. Great. That's awesome. Great. So we got that machine going whenever she needs it. Right. You know, she I had to get that. shots at the doctor. She had her physical yesterday, and she's like literally uh, a fear phobia of shots, like mm -hmm. a literal. But that's problem. a common right. thing. I mean, so like they have to hold her down. It's terrible. Oh, and so, yeah, but she said, I didn't want to tell her because in the whole day she anticipates. But sure. yeah. yeah, so she had to have that machine going. So is that something like what can we do to help? Like Cammy's daughter says, like what are other things that we can do as moms? to help our child when they're feeling anxious, but we're not sure, you know. Yeah. And our daughters are now in high school. They're like, no, I'm fine. And then they close the door. And they're really not. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean. And they're not too, where I can say, tell me right now what's that, you know what I mean, or, you know. <laughs> Give them a hug and kiss their boo-boo and no, but you know, you, your kids um, just need to know that you're there for them. And what else can you do? You can't force right. them to talk to you. Right. So just be there for them and just be non-judgmental. Right. And, and the other thing I would say is when they do talk to you, don't give them advice. Right. And you know ah. what I think is a great like That's kind of really location hard. for yeah. all of these talks too is the cars. When oh, we're yeah. in the car and we're driving somewhere. They can't get out. They're there. They're literally they're strapped in. <laughs> yeah. They can't get out. Locked in. They can't also, get out. They the door seem locked. to be willing to kind of talk about things. If you're just kind of casual about it, you're driving along and you're casually bringing up stuff. Yeah, you you're know, not looking at them. They're I not think looking that at you. The eye contact is a right. big thing. Oh, you're not looking. I was just right. going to say. You're looking I somewhere think it's else. So, yeah, if you so don't make a and if you don't also if you don't make a big huge production about it, casual. Yes, I agree. Then it just comes out. Yeah. Just like, hey, so like, what are you doing? Because then they're like, oh my God, she's <laughs> yeah. nervous. She knows she's going right, to be, and then it yeah. breaks yeah. out. Like an interrogation. Right, right, no. right, right. But you're, I think my sister always says the same thing, too, is just be a safe place. So if they yeah. need, they always know that you're there for them. Yeah. Even if they're eye rolling. Because mm -hmm. we get a lot mm -hmm. of that stuff mm -hmm. happening. And, and so many times kids will keep things from their parents because they know that their parents are going to um, disapprove. And... Um, you know, what I usually say to my clients, if I'm sitting across from somebody who is making bad choices, if I say like, Ooh, you're making lots of bad choices. If I'm disapproving, they're going to feel bad about themselves. Right. They're going to make and more gonna bad choices. And they're going to quiet down, too. Right. They're not going to tell you That's about right. They the won't So then what do we say? Oh, okay. So maybe I, give them Okay, that's okay. Maybe, maybe we don't do that. How <laughs> do we say? <laughs> maybe don't do those drugs. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe <Okay>. say no. <laughs> no. No, you know what I say? Maybe These have the an magic apple. Words. I say, I know you'll do the right thing. Oh, oh that's And you leave good. it on them. Yeah. Boom. And you make them feel special because you're like, Right, you trust that. Do that is so hard to not want to give advice. I don't I know, know, but you are, and and through doing that, you're influencing them so much more because you're making them feel empowered. You trust them, empowered. Exactly right. You're making them feel good about themselves. That's great. I'm, I'm going to remember that. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't do those drugs. Do Maybe right not. Thing. Don't do those drugs. How about I know you'll make the right choice. Right. I know you're I going know. to party, and right I know thing. everybody else is going to be drinking there, but I know you'll make I the right choice. I kind of want to use that at work too with my colleagues. I know you'll make the right choice. <laughs> 
and do what I want them to do. The yes. alternative <laughs> of like telling them do this, do that. Right. We know that doesn't work. Right. 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 right, right, right you right, know. Right. So right. try something. Like else. I've already said to my daughter because she's in high school now. If you're ever at a situation where you don't feel comfortable, you can always call me. I will not ask you questions. I will always come and get you. Yep. That's great. Yeah. Yep. Right. There was that great thing going around the internet that recently. X thing, of like, right? Huh? Text the X? Yeah. Te wow. Yeah. Oh, I yes, I saw that. If you're not comfortable, yeah. you just text yep, text X. An X. You text like a code That's like a code or something. Or something. Okay. Yeah. Or just text like, come get me. You know, me. Frankie like, and Allie are going to be in middle code? school. I don't like, know. So if we don't want to walk home. Doing it, yes. I think, I think it was kind of like just making it quick so the kid could just type something quick so nobody sees them okay. typing. Okay. You then call and say, okay, I'm coming to get you. You have to come right now. And then they say, oh, my mom's coming. Something came up. I gotta go. Oh, and then it doesn't look like they just right. tell me it's Very right. cool. I like that. I really think it's, it's so much harder one. to be a kid today oh than my gosh, when we were is. growing up. I mean, you're a lot younger than us. Right, but totally different yeah. generation. I mean, just by a few years, but. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. No. But I also, but every every generation says that, yeah. and every generation says, "Oh, kids today, you know, they right. have it, you know." Right. We had it different than our parents had it, and our kids yeah. have it different than Just we had it. Just goes on right. and on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. But I definitely think the digital, the the instant. Mm -hmm. Um, seeing everything and knowing what every single person is doing either live or within like two seconds yes. yeah. is it's good and bad. You know what I Which mean? Which I love like, as an adult. But and as even a as an adult, child, sometimes gosh. it gets to be too much. Too. No. You gotta step away no. from it. No. See, I do. Sometimes I love it. I'm like, really? I could, I I could, be, a, I could be on a reality show all day long. <laughs> I she could be like uh, naked uh, and uh, well, I don't, uh, naked and um, I don't think anyone wants to see that. So <laughs> but you're you're, I might you're more that. comfortable with the live. Yeah, because I think people are fascinating, and I think yep. people don't are just anything. the real versus the fake is so much better. I don't know. Yeah. Just me. As long as their lives aren't more interesting than mine, or more exciting than mine. <laughs> or they have more or likes. more beautiful, or they, they have yeah, more or likes. They have more likes, they have more followers. Right, yeah, right. So. But as a child, of course, that's they, and you hear them. Oh, I only got four likes. I'm like, who cares? I know. So you shouldn't. Yeah, it's very important to them. Yeah, and I and that and I feel like why? Because I feel like we're giving them as much confidence, and we're telling them we love them, mm -hmm. and they're so awesome. Who cares if you have 27 likes and so and so is four? You know what I mean? I know, like, but it feels very important at that age. Yeah, it feels very important. And I'm yeah. not going to take away their Everybody's only mode it. of communication because that's how they're communicating. Right. 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 But like when we were like in middle school, like if somebody didn't invite us to a party, we might hear about it over the week, like after the weekend was over, when we're in school that day. But now. Like instant. That's right. true. Right. That's so, are true. you seeing more kids today, like depressed or? You know, I don't know. Well, I'm yes and no. Like, I think that I think that the struggles that um, you know we all went through as kids and teens are the same, same. struggles yeah. that they're going through today. It's just taking a different form. Yeah. Yeah. Like there, there was That's always there was always like jealousy and there was always and, yeah, yeah. Right. worries about fitting in. And you know, I'm sure you ladies can remember conversations with your parents about you know what's Drinking, really important and friends, and, friends yeah. Drugs and, and, and all of yeah, it. and trying to fit in and like being yourself. And you know, so none of that has changed. It's just it's just the mode. Um, what about Katie communicating? I mean, kids and communication. Do you do you see a difference, like, in the ability of kids to communicate? Because sometimes my kids will have friends over and they're side by side on their whatever. <laughs> they're fine. Like, okay, but they're, they're together, here. but they're not. Right. They're not and present. It's so strange. And my daughter will say, "But that's what everybody does." Right. But I don't know. Somehow we're still turning out really smart young right. people. Right. It's just yeah. And you so could strange. always do. You know, we do it sometimes as a joke at work. We all will do the same thing, and and I'll just say, "All right, everyone's phones in the middle." Yep. <laughs> yeah. Right. And yeah. we do. We all put yeah. the phones in the middle, and they're all present. Yeah. Well, before and then we go. We'll talk. We just want to make sure Katie. Yeah, how can people gift. find oh, you? Oh, we have a gift. Katie. We have a gift for you, Katie. You do. Yeah. Yes. yes. We have shocking. We have one. And Katie, this Ooh. is this is our therapy of counseling. So <laughs> no. okay. we're going to share our therapy yes. with you. We'll have Thank some group you. therapy yes, right yes. after this. And so how can people find you, Katie? Yeah. So and they, um, my website email, yes. is my website is kgoodmancounseling.com. So it's my first initial. And then last name, counseling.com. And my email address is the same thing. It's katie at kgoodmancounseling.com. Awesome. Thank you we'll so have much. You so great. Great. Facebook page. We'll have all your yes. information off. That would we will. Be great. And oh, we'll oh, maybe we could come screen. October 12th. Sure, I'd I'll love to. Yes, yes. Yeah. And you yeah. get your tear cards read. Oh, I would love to. And have okay. a little gelato yeah. and wine. Find out my yeah. future. Yeah. <laughs> Thank I'd you so much. Thank you, Katie. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, we'll be right back. We're so happy to have you. So that was great, wasn't that was. Katie? 
Isn't awesome. she awesome? I she was great. I remember kind of back like, when she was your babysitter. I know. Up but, oh, and you know, Katie. as a child, don't you feel like you wish you had someone like that to go yeah, to? Yeah, absolutely. Especially in middle school. She yes. was, so I was I bullied Katie, in middle school. Yes. Really? I would love to have somebody like to Katie. To talk to. Of yeah, course. Absolutely, yep. yeah. Well, Who's Katie's going to come. If you want to meet Katie informally, you'll have to come to our mom's so time out. And then you can October 12th. get into and meet her and everything. But yeah, so also don't forget to like us on Facebook and yes. Instagram. And you'll see a little different thing that we have Yep, now. Janice is doing a lot of social media for us, so you'll, we're almost at a thousand. Thanks to Janice. Yeah, if you're, the thousand, if you're the thousand, can I talk, if you're the thousandth, thousandth, the thousandth, thou thousandth. Okay, we're just going to say, if you're a 1,000 person, you get a, a special prize. Yep, you get to go out to dinner with Adrian. <laughs> Won't that no, be great? We'll have a special <laughs> prize. Yeah, we and, will. Um, and yep, so it's now it's Mom's Time Out CT. So it's M right. Mom's MCO, Time Out CT, CT on Instagram. Well, mm -hmm. we're going into different towns too. Right. Yes, we're not going to be in Windsor, Harford, and Simsbury. Simsbury. We've been recruited to different Newington, towns. Newington, Rocky Hill, Simsbury. Yep. 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 Great. Great. So, so remember everybody, you put the time in. Don't, Don't forget, forget to take, take the time out. out. Place where you go every night and you snuggle up real tight. Is it in front of your screen? Where everything we show is exactly how it seems. Everything we show is.